For this tutorial, you will need publisher as well as photo. I'm just going to go over here to the frame text tool and just there and create a quick frame. I'm going to fill it with something. So I'm just going to go to text and insert filler text. Of course, I could type something else. What I can then do is I'm just going to deselect that. Don't want it to be selected. And I'm going to paste in an image. So I've got this image already stored in my pasteboard or clipboard and I can move it around. But I want it to be part of the text. Well, there's no wrap feature in photo. But you can get around that if you've got publisher. So see, I can move it there. You can see it doesn't change. Go to file and edit in publisher. So edit in publisher and it will go into publisher. It's exactly the same format. You can go backwards and forwards between all the applications and use features in one and use them in another. And you can move this around again, exactly the same as before, but this time you've got some more options right here. You go over here and you've got text wrap settings. Just click there and you've got jump, square, and a few other options. So I'm just going to go for jump and you can see what happens. It creates this nice gap there, which you may want or may not. You can still continue to move the image. You can reposition it, go for square, tight, and so on and so on. So I'm just going to go for square for the purposes. There's a number of options. Also, you can modify distance from text, maybe make it 20, say, and you can link those as well. So you can make them say 20 for all of them. And so you can see you've got a nice gap around there, but you can still continue to move that around. So once you're finished with that, close. Now, of course, I'm in publisher now. What I want to be is in photo. So I just go to file and edit in photo. Now I'm back in photo again. I can select this image and I can move it around. You can do exactly the same as before. So I can reposition it. I think, oh, I want the text to be over here. However, there's no edit features. So you have to go back into publisher if you want to modify the settings. So just go there and resize. So you can resize it, maybe rotate it, move the text around, select that and just position it, angle it, whatever, move it like that. Again, resize and so on and so on. Whole load of things you can do. Of course, if you want to edit it again, you can always go to file and edit in publisher again. Go into there and now got exactly the same, move it around, go up here and you can modify it. Text wrap settings and you can say, oh, you know what? I don't want that one. I want jump instead or square or tight, etc. And modify these. Click close. And again, go back to photo, edit and edit in photo. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.